of my lipsticks. And then I have some extras right here. And then a few little extras over here. So let's tackle, actually, let's just tackle these really quick since they're just kind of on the floor and needing to be either decluttered or kept. So I have the Charlotte Tilbury Tinted Love. I think I have used this all of like one time and it's literally just like a sheer lip tint. Um, pretty much just looks like a lip gloss, honestly. And I don't know, I'm gonna try it on my lips real quick and see if I wanna keep this. Um, this is in the shade Bohemian Kiss. I got this in a kit. Um, because in all honesty, I wouldn't have picked this up just by itself, but it came in a kit, so that's why I got it. Um, I'm going to set this off to the side as a maybe, so we'll put that right there as maybe. These are all my purple lipstick. I truly enjoy them. So, purple lipstick is, so purple beauty is a black owned beauty brand. Their lipsticks are very affordable. I think normally they're around 10 to $12 and then they frequently do have sales. So I have the shade for Magic. I'm not gonna swatch these all. Um, definitely check out their website to see like swatches of the shades. Believe It is really pretty as well. Um, then we have Profits and Focus. And then lastly, um, Fixtress, which I think this one, is this my favorite? I think this might be my favorite, um, but I really enjoy my Purple Beauty lipstick, so keeping them. Then I have my Wayne Goss lipstick, I mean lip gloss. I think this is in the shade Petunia. Yes, Petunia. This lipstick, or lip gloss, I keep saying lipstick, lip gloss. This lip gloss is really, really pretty, very hydrating. Um, if you've ever tried Wayne Goss's lipsticks, you know that they're very hydrating. The lip glosses are even more hydrating, so I'm definitely going to keep this one. I have another lip gloss by Wayne Goss in the shade Chrysanthemum, and that one I actually keep in my car, so <laughs> that one will be kept as well. Um, then I have some Chantecai lip sheets, um, like veils. So these were all gifted to me, and these are so, so pretty. Um, they're lip veils, just to swatch one so you can get an idea of it. They are nice and pigmented. They have a satin finish, and they feel very great on the lips. Um, I need to wear these more often. All of them have like a magnetic cap because they're really pretty. Um, so this one that I just swatched is in the shade Rock Rose. And then this is um, Peach Blossom. I think this was from their summer collection. Oh, look how pretty that is. Yeah, definitely keeping that. Um, this one is Clover. This was also from, I think, Spring Summer of this year. And then um, Boabab is really pretty as well. So keeping these, ooh, ooh, I forgot about this one. This one is so fire. Um, what is this, Fran Frangipane? I think that's how you pronounce it. I just have to do a quick swatch. That's such a beautiful shade. Okay, so definitely keeping these. They're very pretty. These three are by Ofra, and this was gifted to me by, I think, Camera Ready Cosmetics. They sent me a kit of Ofra lip glosses. I haven't even tried any of them. I'm gonna see if my niece wants them um, because I haven't swatched them at all, but they look really pretty, um, but haven't tried them, so I'm gonna set them aside for her. And then I have some of my Wayne Goss lipsticks. I have more in this other drawer. So um, we have Amaryllis and Dahlia. These are my two absolute favorite shades from Wayne Goss. I mean, they're pinky nudes. I just, I mean, can you see how much I've loved them? <laughs> so I'm definitely keeping all of my Wayne Goss lip gloss, I mean lipsticks. Like I said earlier, such a hydrating formula, very creamy as well. So keeping these. Oh, okay, so this is a Maybelline lipstick. This is in the shade Bad is Beige. And I love this shade. So um I got this shade off of a recommendation from Jaclyn Hill, and it was too light for me. So I mixed this with a lip gloss by Burt's Bees, and I think I actually already threw that one out. I can't find it. Um, if I find it through this declutter, then I'll share it with you. But this, lips, this lipstick, as you can see, is such a beautiful pinky nude, 
and by itself it's a little too light for me but mixed with either like a deeper lip gloss or a lip liner it's so pretty i'm gonna declutter this one because i've had it for years but i might pick another one up if they still have this i might have to get this because this shade is so pretty so this is our first like official declutter okay declutters are over there <laughs> um oh forgot this one by sean zakai Capuchine, another beautiful like orangey shade Sorry if I sound a little nasally. I'm getting over a cold. Um, but yeah, keeping that. Merit Lip Gloss. So this is in the shade Marrakech. I think that's how you pronounce it. Sorry if I'm going in and out of focus. I'm trying to do this so you can see it and be in focus. But um, that's the gloss shade. I'll be honest, I really don't wear this at all. <sighs> I can't even tell you why. Um, it's nice. I think I've tried it one time, but I'm going to declutter. I'll, you know what? I'm going to see if my, if my niece wants this. This is a mini Tom Ford lipstick, and this is in the shade Scarlet Rouge. And this is a nice, pretty red lipstick. Um, once again, going to see if my niece wants it. I have two of these, so I'll keep one, and then I'll let her see if she wants to have the other one. Um... This is from Shantakai, and this is their lipstick in the shade Cassia. This is really pretty. I want to see if my mom wants this because she really likes colors like this. Um, and I don't, I think I've swatched it one time. I just don't reach for it, and I know I'm not going to wear it. So I'd rather pass it on than keep it. And this is a lip gloss by suku and i think this is in the sh this is in the shade 08 and uh this one is really really pretty look at that oh most definitely keeping that put that with a nice liner honey child she's pretty so and it feels really nice and creamy on the lips so keeping this one and then i have a tom ford lipstick um in the shade nubile i think i got this from the cosmetic company store and this is really pretty. I think I'm going to keep this one because I really like the formulation of it. And as you can see, I definitely wore it a while at one point. <laughs> um, and I think I've only had this one for a year, so I'll keep it. I'm trying to make sure I declutter lipsticks that I've had for a long time, even if I like them. Because, you know, just like anything, our makeup gets old and we need to replace it after a while. Here's another Lip Veil by Shanta Kai. Very pretty. So I'm going to keep this one. And let's move on to this stack of products. So I have these mini lipsticks by Pat McGrath. And let's see what shades do I have. So this is Flesh 3 and Emma all day. I, I don't even have to question who did this. This is Emma, so clearly that's going to be decluttered. <laughs> um, this is in the shade 1995. This is really, really pretty. I like this one a lot, so I'm going to keep this one. Very nice neutral shade. It's a matte formula. And this one is in Omi. And I really like this one as well. Um, I would probably purchase Omi when I run out. So I'm going to keep that one. And this is Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Fairy Victoria. I really like this one as well. It's a really pretty, taupey, mauvey shade. I'll do a quick swatch. Um, this particular shade was said to be one of Meghan Markle's favorite shades. So um, when I saw that, I think I got this from Sephora for like, you know, one of the free samples. I was like, ooh, I want to try it because I like Meghan Markle too. So yeah, keeping this one. These are MAC lipsticks that I'm pretty sure I'm going to declutter. Yes. So I this one is in the shade Russian um russian red i've had this one for a long time so once again like i said i'm decluttering lipsticks that i've had for a while and then velvet teddy oh i really enjoy velvet teddy i might have to repurchase this one i've just had this one for a long time so time to throw it out and i think i'm gonna throw out this charlotte tilbury one as you can see it's dried and it just is gonna leave like a tint of color on my lips and I i'm not gonna reach for this so declutterville <laughs> Then we have another one, Speed Dial. This used to be my favorite lipstick and um, definitely got to declutter this one, but it was so pretty, but I've had it 
probably for almost four years. Um, these two by Kosas. So this is in the shade Dark Room. <sighs> Am I gonna declutter this one? Let me put it to the side. You know what? I'll see if my mom wants it. She likes shades like this. I don't wear it, and it's not because it's not pretty. Am I in focus? Okay, good. Um, it's not because I don't like it. I just don't really reach for it. So I'm gonna see if she wants it. And then this one is undone. I'll keep this one because I do like this shade right here. And I do wear this one more than Dark Room. Charlotte Tilbury. We have Mrs. Kisses and loving, lo I love all my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. So I will be keeping this one. And then this is one. I got these two in a set. No, it's this one and it's another one that's in this drawer over here. I got them in a set three years ago, four years ago maybe. I don't even know what shade this is. So I'm gonna declutter this one because I've just had it for a while. Um, this one, oh, I already had this one. And then this one is Walk Up No Shame. Definitely keeping this such a pretty shade. And it's just, it's so pretty, so keeping this one. Oh, I love this one. Glowing Gin, one of my favorite Charlotte lips, Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. Um, and in terms of the shades, it's just, okay, I have to swatch it real quick for y'all. I'm about to run out of arm space or hand space. But I love that shade. It's so, so pretty. So most definitely keeping this. And then this YSL uh, lipstick. This is in the shade 201. I bought this last year, and I really like it. It's like a fire red. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep that. That is so pretty. And it dries down slightly, so it doesn't really dry down to a full matte finish. But it's also not extremely too glossy after a while, but look how pretty that is. Okay, keeping that. And then Pat McGrath. Oh, Elson Tuma is definitely keeping this. It's like a bright orangey red. Gotta have it. Mm. And then, oh, this lipstick you see, my favorite lipstick color. This is called Bear It All by Wet n Wild. <laughs> I'm going to declutter this one, but when I tell you I've purchased this one time and time again, it's like 99 cents, maybe $1.99 now because you know prices have gone up on stuff. But this is such a pretty pinky nude. I'll swatch it for you. Uh, I'll swatch it there. It's such a pretty shade, but I have so many shades like this, so that's why I want to declutter it, but it is really nice. Gucci lipstick in the shade... Uh, Painted Veil, definitely keeping this. It's such a pretty, taupey, mauve shade. Very cool tone, but really complimentary. And then all my other Pat McGrath lipsticks. So we have La Beja. This one is discontinued, and I will never get rid of this because it is discontinued. <laughs> no matter how many times I wear this, I always get compliments on it. So I'm most definitely keeping it. And then... This is Sextrology. This is also in her Lux Trans formula. I can declutter this one. It's pretty, but I don't reach for it as much anymore. Yeah. And then Forbidden Love. This is her Matte Trans formula. Oh, such a beautiful red. Keeping this. And then Guinevere, keeping this one, because this one's pretty. I've had this one for a little while now, but I like this shade, especially in the wintertime, so keeping this one. Okay, so we are done with those. Now let's get into this drawer right here. So let's just, ooh. All right, so let's pull these out. I got these um, lipstick holders from Amazon. They were only like $6.99. I'll link them down below. The only thing I don't like about these is like it doesn't hold all of my lipsticks. And I was hoping that these spaces would be wide enough to do so. So like for instance, my Pat McGrath lipsticks don't fit. Um, also, the Propa Beauty lipsticks don't fit. And 
these Chantecaille lipsticks. They don't fit in this, these middle ones too well, but the, but the spaces on the perimeter are wider. So like the Sugar Rose can fit here, but it can't really fit here. So I don't, I don't really like that, but hey, <laughs> it is what it is. So uh, starting with these three, I'll just push this down here so we can see them. We'll go like that so we can see them. So I have these three by Minted and hmm, this is Dope Taupe. I don't know if I want to keep this one. Let's see. Yeah, I don't really wear this one too much and I've had it for a while, so I'll declutter that one. However, I will be keeping Peach Please because I really like this one. Um, let's put this one right here. I really like that one. So that's Peach Please right there. So we'll be keeping this one. Formulation is really nice. Um, and then this is Minted number five. This is one of their popular shades. Uh, let's swatch right here. Yeah, I'll keep that one. It's like a mauve brownish shade. You see like that hint of purple. Uh, really, really pretty. And very complimentary on deeper skin. So I'll keep Minted number five. Um, then I was gifted this one by a friend. So this is actually by Longcomb. And this is a like sample tester. Um, which is why it's not in a traditional like lipstick bullet. I actually haven't even put it on my lips. My mom actually swatched it <laughs> before I did. So I haven't had a chance to wear it, but that's really, really pretty. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is shade 481. That is gorgeous. Look at that. Okay, yeah. I need to put this on my lips like ASAP. And then I have this Dior lipstick. This is in the shade 100. This is their... Um, Rouge Dior Nude Look Matte Formula. And I really like this shade, so I'm gonna keep that one. So this is what it looks like. Um, I got this in the NARS lipstick is a Sephora, you know, little gift. I'm gonna declutter it. I mean, it's cool or whatever, but I wore it a couple times, but nothing that I'm gonna like wear again. So we'll declutter that one. Uh, another lipstick by Minted, this is in Nude La La. And this one is nice, but, uh, well, actually, I don't know. I think I like this one. Oh, yeah, I do like this one. So there it is, Nude La La. So I'm going to keep that one. And this is by Lila B. These are their lip oils, and I really like their lip oils. I've had these for a while, though, so um, I'm going to declutter it. But they're very sheer. They do hydrate the lips a little bit. Um, and when I say a little bit, I don't mean like they don't hydrate them, but they do hydrate the lips, um, uh, but they're not going to be overly oily. They have like a, a thicker consistency than an oil. So I do like these a lot, but I am going to declutter this one because I've had it for a while. And this one by Pixie, um, this is in the shade matte beige and I've had this for a while, but these Pixie liquid lipsticks are really nice. They dry down to a comfortable finish. I'll swatch this one for you. Um, and they look really, really pretty. Like, I actually really like this one. I kind of want to keep it, but I'm not going to. Because as you can see, like, all in this area, I have lipsticks that are pretty much always in the same lip color family. So, I've had this one for a while. This one can go. Um, is this Chrysanthemum? Nope, this is Antique Rose by Wayne Goss. Now, this one, I really didn't like. It's okay. I like it, but it's the least favorite because of the shimmer. You can um, you can feel the shimmer just a little bit. Like you can feel the, the, what am I trying to say? You can feel the metallic flex a little bit. So um, although it's really, really pretty, I don't wear this one at all. So I am gonna declutter this one and uh, cause I just don't wear it, but it is very pretty. I have other ones like this that give me the same effect, but I don't feel the, the I don't want to say grit because it's not a lot, but it's just a little more than I like. Um, this YSL lipstick is very pretty, and this is in the shade 01, so I am going to keep this one because this is such a pretty red. I mean, I just feel like I can't have too many reds. I just can't have enough. And these three Chantecaille lipsticks came out last a holiday and when I say they were my favorites okay so we have Rubeline I think that's how you pronounce it look at that shimmer I hope that this hopefully this is focusing 
Look at that. I mean, you just can't get any better than that. So keeping these. I don't even know if they sell them anymore. Um, rose quartz was by far my favorite shade. Like, I could not stop talking about rose quartz. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. And then we have um, carnelian. I think that's how you pronounce it. Oh, I forgot about how pretty this one, this one was. So I, I, I think I'm going to try to wear this to a Christmas party if I go to one. <laughs> but these are so pretty. Keeping those. Um, YSL, this one is in shade 70. Oh, this is kind of pretty. Hmm, I think I'll keep it. Can't have too many pinky nudes, right? <laughs> and this is by Fashion Fair. So this is one of their lipsticks. And this is in the shade Nuditude. And I'll do a quick swatch of this one. Nice sheer satin shade of a lipstick um and it's nice nothing to like in terms of the shade i think the shade is better with a lip liner because against my complexion it almost is like my lips but better so um when i do wear it i like to have a lip liner with it just to make it pop more Here's another Pixie Liquid Lipstick. Definitely gonna declutter this one because I don't wear it anymore at all. Um, then I have these three from Il Maquillage. So some, from time to time, I'll do work with Il Maquillage and they'll send me some of their products. Um, so this shade is called Matte Lit. One of these shades is really, really light. Okay, so yeah, I like this shade here. Um, this one's really, really pretty. It has like a nice peachy hue to it. And then this one is really, really light. So I'm going to declare this one. So yeah, it's like <laughs> very, very light. I can make it work obviously with the lip liner, but I would rather not if I don't, I'd rather not if I don't have to. Um, this one is in the shade Matte Glory. This was the light one. And then this one is really, really pretty. This is called Matte Soul. And the shade, oof, so, so pretty. Look at that. So pretty. These are very comfortable as well to be liquid lipstick. So I really like Il Maquillage products. Like, I've tried a lot because, like I said, I do work for them. But they make some really good products. Here's a lip gloss. This is from Amicole. And this is just a regular lip gloss, nothing to write home about. So I am going to declutter this one. And um, who is, oh, this is by House of Siage, right? Yes, House of Siage. Um, this is in the shade Seduction. I have so many lipsticks by them. And some of them I haven't even had a chance to wear. That's how many I have. So this one... <sighs> Let me see. I don't know if I want to keep this one. Hmm. I think I'll declutter this one. I have lipsticks like this. Um, yeah. Um, here's another one by Suku. And this is in the shade 105. Um, nice, pretty nude shade. So I'll keep this one. And, ooh, the new Formulated Bite Beauty Lipsticks. I have picked up the shade Maple. This one is very, very pretty. The formula is so nice. I do want to get more of these, so definitely keeping these. Or this one, I should say. And oh, this particular uh, lip balm by Sugar Rose. Oh, this reminds me of my bachelorette weekend, and I went to the Fresh store. And I remember purchasing this balm back, and this was like 2009, and I remember being like, oh my God, I spent so much money on this balm. But every time I wear it and smell it, it just takes me back to my bachelorette weekend. So I always try to keep one of these in my collection just for nostalgic reasons, but I actually really do like it as a balm, but like I really mostly keep it <laughs> for nostalgic reasons. Okay, now on to this, <laughs> this pretty case. I feel like I might need to break this up into two videos. So how about this? I'm going to break this up into two because I feel like this is going to be the longest declutter ever if I don't. I have these YSL lipsticks and for the most part I'm going to be keeping all of them. See, look at Emma. I, I always know when she's in my stuff. 
This is shade 83 really 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 pretty and the packaging of these are just stunning here's another one this is in the shade i think this is shade five keeping this one as well really like this one this is the rouge volupte shine and the shade five it has like the one with this has a little star in the middle that has a balmy type of hydrating factor and this is shade 12. So, Emma, again, look at, look at that. <laughs> no, not me on purpose. And she's in the background while I'm filming. Okay, so these came in a set. So, I like these. I'm keeping these. I think I bought these earlier this year. So, I have these two by Charlotte Tilbury. I forgot what she calls these. But, so this is her infamous shade Pillow Talk. Um, and these are like lip balms with color. And then this is shade, this is shade Lucky Diamonds. And this one is pretty as well. It has like a bit of a metallic sheen to it. Hopefully you can see that right there. And you know what, I'm gonna keep these. I feel like I don't wear these enough and I need to wear them. So I'm gonna keep these. Um, all of my, this is part of my Charlotte Tilbury. Are these all my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks? I think so. So I have, uh, let's see, Stone Rose, definitely keeping this one. I really like this one a lot. Um, I went on a kick earlier this year and wanted to get as many Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks as I could. This is B-I-T-C-H, please. Keeping this one, I really like this one as well. First Dance. And I love the packaging of these. So that's first dance. Keeping this. Wedding bells. Keeping that. Yes, honey. Yes, honey. Keeping this one. I like this one as well. Blushing dream. So keeping all of my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks because I love them. Love the formulation of them. And I also love the shades. More lipsticks by Chantecai. I actually just received all of these in a recent PR package. These are the lip veils. Oh no, the lip cheeks. And I'm keeping all of them. So just to give you a quick little view of the shades. These are all very comfortable. They're like really, they're like, um, they are like tinted lip balms. They're very pretty. Um, these are the other two. So five of them came in the PR package, so keeping these. Two of these lip sheets, these are from last year, and these are really, really pretty. Oh, these are so hard. I feel like I might do a good job of a declutter, but these are really pretty. I have to keep them, <laughs> they're so pretty. Um, oops, Pat McGrath, this is in Dream Lover. This came out, I think this year. This is a really pretty one too, so most definitely keeping this one. This is by Lily B, another one of their lip oils. I will declutter this one because it, was, it is older, um, like the other one. These are all the lipsticks by BK Beauty. Most definitely keeping these. These just came out. I did recently swatch all of them in a video. Can't remember the, the name of the video, but I'll link it for you. So if you want to see all of them in action, you can. But I'll just quickly show you what they look like. Because I feel like this is getting so long, so... I'm just gonna quickly go through the rest of my lipsticks, hopefully. Um, but these are so pretty. So check out my review of these. Highly recommend them. Very affordable and such great quality. And then the rest of these right here are all Wingoss lipsticks. I'm not getting rid of any of them. If you know me, you know I love the brand of Wingoss. Like I truly stand by them. <laughs> I truly stand by the brand. So keeping all of my lipsticks from Wayne Goss, they're all just amazing. Um, I found out about this brand, another Wayne Goss, from Andrea Renee. Um, this is called, I forgot what the brand is called. And it's not on the lipsticks. MC. It's a um, small brand. And so I picked up some lipsticks by them. It's a black owned brand too. Gosh, I can't remember the name of them. If I find it, I'll put it here on the screen. Um, but I bought these, these ye this year and these are nice. So this was in the shade Dreamer. 
And then this is Limitless. I wish I could remember what the brand was, but I'll find it and I'll tell you all what it is. Um, but these are nice and they were very affordable. And this is Ambition. So yeah. Um, love this Gucci lipstick. I think it's a Vantine Fuchsia. I'm most definitely keeping this. I mean, look at that color. It just doesn't get better than that. And these are so pretty and comfortable too. And then another Charlotte Tilbury JK Magic. One of my favorite Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. As you can see, I have given her a lot of love. But, oof, I wore this one so much, so much. So, done with this one. Now, let's talk about Fenty. I have all of these kind of lip paints and i'm keeping all of them because i love them all so i have um these two came in a set last year so um i don't know if these two shades are sold separately because they were limited edition in a set when i bought them but if they're still on the website check them out this is the shade underrated and this is unmatched i love these um set of lip paints because of how vibrant the colors are and although the formula is not the best liquid lipstick I, the shades are so banging and they're so long lasting and they're just like there's always something unique about the shades that i will forever keep them so even if i declutter them in the future i will just be purchasing them again but i'm keeping all of them for now because these are all still you know within suitable amounts of time where i can still wear them this one is in the shade Uncuffed. That this is a regular size one. Then I have, I forgot what this one is, but it's a permanent one too. Love this one. And this is Underdog. Ooh, the intensity of this one. And then of course, Uncensored, her famous red one. Um, it's about time that I probably purchase another one. I'll keep this one one more year and then repurchase it and declutter that one. So then we get into this. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Before we get into that, I have these liquid lipsticks by Kaleidos. Um, these are so, so pretty. First of all, look at the packaging of these. And I have some other ones by them. I want to one day just swatch all of their lipsticks. Maybe I should. Tell me if you're interested in, in that. Um, in me doing that maybe i'll do like reels or something like that um but their lipsticks are so pretty they're all liquid lipsticks um i gave one away so that's why that one's missing but they're all liquid lipsticks but they have some very beautiful colors and shades within their lipsticks and depending on the theme you get these shades that are going to all be um relative to the theme so keeping these these are really really pretty um, these are some of this. These are what these shades look like here. Let me get the other ones real quick. These are from their recent um, Apple collection. I haven't even, I haven't even tried all of the ones in these. So definitely keeping these. And like I said, I'll probably be doing like some reels with these just so you can see them. But how pretty are these? Just the packaging alone. And look at that, I've got lipstick everywhere. Hold on, let me go and clean this up and come back. Okay, here is the last of my lipsticks. And let's hope I can make some good progress with it. So first starting off with my Christian Audette section, um, as y'all probably know, I'm not getting rid of any of these. Um, so of course I've got Hocus Pocus, probably one of my favorite shades from the brand. Um, it's in my lipstick bundle. And I'm not gonna go through all of these, but here's Puffin by our dear Mel Thompson. Love and miss her so much. Um, and this shade is fire. If you have Puffin and Hocus Pocus, do yourself a favor, mix them together. Put Hocus Pocus on the perimeter and Puffin in the middle. Oh my gosh, y'all. Stunning. Stunning! Okay. Then these three I got from the brand. I haven't even taken them out of the box, but um cashmere dame i had to get another one of merlot which is from my lipstick bundle and then mrs mistle mrs mistletoe um these two oops, these two are from tara lynn's lipstick bundle so um i have those and then we have company card a really pretty pinky nude one of my favorites noelle 
third shade from my lipstick bundle you're fired a beautiful red shade um blood and good are from the collaboration with gg good and then home alone is beautiful you're fired is another one of my favorite ones from the brand and i probably should show you all of these but i have so many i'm trying not to make this long but like this is probably my second favorite one after hocus pocus wore this all through the summer and then burnt cinnamon is a beautiful one um for this time of the year this one actually broke thank you emma <laughs> All right, so keeping all Christian Audette. Then I have Lisa Eldridge right here. I have so many by Lisa Eldridge keeping all of them because I love them. Um, here's one of her lip glosses, and this is in the shade Muse. Love this shade from Lisa Eldridge, so keeping that. And then, once again, I'm just going to go through the ones that I have. Velvet Dragon, Velvet Ribbon. Then this is Velvet Intrigue, Velvet Petal. I recently picked up all of her newest, newest ones, so I'll link that video if you want to see them. Velvet Muse and Velvet Cinnabar. And I think I swatched all of the ones that I have in that one as well. So you can see those on my lips or at least swatched on my arm. Velvet Blush, Velvet Affair, and then Velvet Blush Lightly, and then Velvet Morning. So once again, keeping all of those. <laughs> then on to just kind of like one-offs of lip products so i have the dior lip glow oil i bought this earlier this year and this one is really nice i typically keep this one in my purse because it's very hydrating on the lips and it has pretty good lasting power so i'm gonna keep this one um then i have a few fenty lip creams um, let's see if i can get all of them is that it okay so here are all of my Fenty lip glosses, lip creams, um, and I really like them all. <laughs> I like Fenty lip products, um, at least the liquid lipsticks and then these. So these two came in a set, and I do believe you can still buy these together. I really like them. This shade is my favorite of the two. Love how bright and vibrant this one is. This is the first lip gloss in Fenty Glow. I always try to keep one of these because this is still one of my favorite lip glosses and lip gloss formulas. And then I have the Lip Fenty Cream in Fenty Glow, really pretty. And then this Fenty Heat Lip Gloss in the shade Hot Chocolate Heat. Um, and I like this one as well, so cute. Uh -huh. I have this one by Jaclyn Hill. I picked this one up and this is in the shade One and Only. Uh -huh. I really like this shade, Riley's here. So first was Emma, now Riley. <laughs> So I have this one, and one and only. I like this one. It's a nice, pretty um, liquid lipstick formula. Um, and that's what it looks like. It's quite dry, I'll be honest, but I like the color. So keeping that. And this is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the shade Cinnabon. I picked this up when I got the Cinnabon uh, Too Faced eyeshadow palette. And it smells good and it has a nice, I like this color too. Very nice. So I will keep this as well. Here is a lipstick by Suku. And this one is really pretty. Nice neutral shade. So I will be keeping this. This is in the shade 112. This one is by the Lip Bar, and this is in the shade First Lady. And I'm going to declutter this one. I don't really use it, and I have... Oh, Riley. Oh, okay. I have lipsticks um, that are in the shade, and I just don't use it. But I like the formula. It is nice. So, declutter that. Both of, or three of my Natasha Denona lipsticks. I really like these as well. Um... So, these two are really pretty, and this one, I do need to wear a lip liner with it because it is quite light. This one, I can actually wear it on its own, but I do like to wear it with a lip liner, but I really, really like these two shades. This one is in Maria, and this is Andrea. This one is in the shade 
Amorosa. I think she came out with this one this year. And this one is nice. Not one of my most favorite shades between the three that I have from the brand, but this one is nice, so I'll keep this one. My Westman Atelier lipstick or lip gloss in the shade Nana. Um, definitely keeping this because it reminds me of my grandmother. We called her Nana. She passed away a couple years ago. No, last year? Yeah, last year. So definitely keeping this one. And the formula is really nice. So liking that. I have a couple of lipsticks by Armani Beauty. And I have 105 and 506. So these are, this is 105? No, 506, really beautiful fuchsia shade. And then this is 105, really like this one too. Both of them um, have a matte formulation and they feel really nice on the lips too. Hi, Schnecka. Um, A deluxe sample of this Rare Beauty lipstick and this one is nice, but I'm gonna declutter it because I don't know, I just don't use it. And oh, Pat McGrath. Yeah. Y'all, this is probably one of my favorite lipsticks or lip product purchases of the year. It's not lipstick. This is in the shade Gold Allure. And this, honey, you want to talk about shimmer and shine and sparkle. Look at that dimension from this. And it's very comfortable. You don't feel the metallic particles in it, but you get so much sheen. It's just stunning. So keeping that for sure. This is my little sleeve from my Westman Atelier lip gloss. LYS lip gloss, so hydrating, comfortable, glossy. Like, this is a beautiful product and so affordable. So, keeping this. You want to see Riley? Look at Riley. Riley, girl. Schnucka. Hi, Schnuckbucka. Say hello. <laughs> okay. Oh, Riley, Riley. Now, people can't hear. If you're doing all of that. Another lip product by Suku. And look at that shade. This came in the fall collection that they have. So this is such a beautiful shade. And this is shade, what is this, 102. Keeping one of my favorite Pat McGrath lip glosses. Um, this is in the shade Flesh Fantasy. Such a pretty shade. And it's got a beautiful pigment to it as well. So it can be worn, a, worn alone or, you know, put on top of another lip product. But I really enjoy this one. So keeping this. I have these products from Shantikai. And I think I might, yeah, I'm going to declutter these. These are really nice and comfortable. But I have so many by them that I just don't. These are like the ones that I use the least from the brand. So I'm going to declutter these. I have this lip product from Inglot, and it's like a lip gloss, but I don't use it, y'all, at all. So I'm gonna declutter this one. Such a beautiful fire burnt orange shade by Armani Beauty. Look at that. Oh. Yeah, I'm keeping this. So keeping this. This is in the shade 401. 401. Then we have this one by Becca, and I'm gonna declutter this one. I've had this one for. Oh, it's like two or three years, and oh, Becca no longer exists, but can't keep the lipstick forever, so I'm going to declutter this one. Another lip oil by Lila B that, um, this one I might keep. No, I'm going to declutter this one, too, because I still don't wear it as much, um, like the other ones, so I'm declutter that one. Ooh, another one by Gucci. This one is so pretty antique orange look at that half to keep this one no agatha orange not antique orange have to keep this one as well another pat mcgrath lip gloss and this is in bronze temptation and oh this one i'm gonna declutter i don't know why this one is so goopy it's kind of always been like that for me and so i don't know I think it might just be a, a one-off. Tower 28, their lip gloss is so good. And when I talk about high shine, high shine, this is a mini size. So I'm gonna keep this one. I have 
have two of these and one of them is in my purse but these Chanel double-sided lip products are so pretty. So you have the liquid lipstick on one side and this is extremely dry. I'm talking like Sahara Desert dry. So to combat that, you've got this clear side, but this also kind of sets and locks in the shine of the product um, and it makes it, it's such a beautiful combination once you use both sides. So I love these. This is in the shade Light Mauve. And then I have like a nude one. So definitely keeping both of them. Look at us, we're almost making, we're almost done. Um, these two products I am going to declutter. I love the Cole Says Sport Lip Product. I've had this one for a while, but it's very hydrating. Um, I usually keep these in my purse, but this one, like I said, is really old. So that's why I'm decluttering it, but highly recommend it. And then I was gifted this from this brand called Cobb Cab. Um, and I just don't use it, so I'm going to declutter that. Oh, here's the other one. I thought I had this one in my purse. Here's the other one um, from Chanel. And this is in Timeless Beige. This is my favorite out of the two, so definitely keeping that. This is a lip gloss from the Gigi Good X Christian Audette. So keeping this. And um, this is another one of those Chantecaille lip products that... Oh, this one, though. Tint Hydrating Balm in the shade Calendula. I can't, I am a sucker for a good burnt orange type of shade. So <laughs> I'm going to keep this one because the color is so pretty. But as you can see, it's a lip tint. So nothing, nothing too pigmented, but you do still get a nice little hint of color. And then the rest of these are all by House of Siage. I know it's a lot. And like I said, there's so many of them that I haven't even had a chance to go through all of them. Um, some of them are nude products, and then some of them are, like, more colorful lipsticks. So, like, here's one. Y'all, I like, there's so many. I actually need to go through these. <laughs> um, so, I know that this is a declutter, and the whole point of it is to go through it and figure it out. But some of these, I haven't even swatched them. So, I don't know yet if I want to keep them. Um... Like, I think these silver ones are all nude ones. Yeah. They came out with a nude collection last year. And, yeah, like, I actually, I know I do like this one. Um, but I want to, like, go through them, swatch them all, and then figure it out. So, yeah, those are all my lipsticks. I so, I didn't do a good job on my declutter because I'm keeping all of these. And then <laughs> I'm keeping all of these. I'm going to keep some of these. I'll declutter some of them. But like I said, I have to like look at them and swatch them and all the other stuff. And then this is all I'm throwing away. I thought I was going to do a much better job, you guys. And I did not. <laughs> I have to do better. Oh, I just feel like there's so many that I like. And it's just so hard. Okay. Well, that's, that's it for now, guys. This was not a, a successful declutter, but... You know, maybe I will declutter them as I go along and wear them. How about that? Because just looking at them, I'm like, oh, wait, I want some more. But, like, as I'm looking at them, I'm just like, wait, but I know I like these. And I like these. And I like these. And I like these. And I like these. But, I don't know. I can't throw them away yet. So, this is as good as we can get. So, thank you guys so much for watching my declutter. <laughs> I did get, a, get rid of a few of them, but I know there's more in here I probably need to declutter. Like, you know what? Like this Tom Ford one, I can declutter that one because I don't wear it. I like it, but I don't wear it. And some of these Propo Beauty ones, I could honestly declutter. <sighs> Let's see. Yeah, like this one, I can declutter. I can, yeah, so I can declutter Focus. Because I don't wear this one. I feel like I need to do better with my declutters. <laughs> but I do like these three. Nope. Oh, what about this one? Yeah, these three I will keep. Because I do like them. But the rest of these, I just... It's just so hard. I got a little lipstick on here. The rest of these I really do like. I just so I just can't. Sorry, guys. But this is about as good as I can get. So 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And if you made it to this point in the video, thank you so much. I would love for you to consider subscribing and joining the Glam Girl Squad. And guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. And I really hope to see you, yes, you, in my very next video. Bye, guys.